Hello and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I am Lazy Bones, and on the last episode, we had to deal with uh, Dallas and her interception. That battle was interesting. Apparently, I missed that there are a lot of dead bodies around. I didn't even notice them. I was watching the last episode and I was like, hey, wait a minute, those ash piles are bodies. I could have looted them, but I didn't. No, I... Ugh. Well, opportunity missed. But hey, I didn't do anything in between episodes because, well, we're here. And I don't want to, you guys to miss a thing. So, let's continue. This looks like the place where we met that god guy. Rahalik. What's his name? Maybe the H is silent. Relic. What's here? Nothing. Or maybe many things. Oh! Mm -hmm. There's stuff over here. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Vra. <laughs> so. <laughs> raw gear. Vra gear. God of orcs. Oh! <gasps> I love orcs. They're my favorite ever. Uh, orc. <laughs> Dunna, god of dwarves. Oh, orcs. Oh, I love orcs. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> I'm geeking over north orcs. But it, it, it's the tree. What I. Ah, I screwed that up. I wasn't prepared. Also, <laughs> I'm really tired today for some reason. I don't know what the, what the problem is with that. I, uh, I don't think I got enough sleep uh, this morning. So if I'm a little less enthusiastic or lower energy, I apologize. Normally, I don't like to record like this, but it must be done. But uh, you know, if I yawn or something, it's just, you know, it's my name, Lazy Bones. So I should be yawning. Mm -hmm. Where the heck am I going? And there's not even loot. Wait, do I still have my loot? I do. By the way, I'm not able to sell this. <laughs> oh, it is loot too. I still have my loot. I can't sell it for some reason. I wonder what the deal is with that. And this. Oh, I can sell it, I think. Yeah, I can, but it's... I got this off of a witch's body, and I don't know. I feel like it's something important. If anyone knows what that is, let me know. And this too. And I tried giving this key back to that one, that dog. It's too late now. But, there's a key. Buddy's key, I think it was called. Yeah, see? I tried giving it back to that dog, but... It wouldn't let me. I don't even know how I got it. I don't have teleportation, so... We might be screwed. Unless I just walk on this and the little magic... Thing. I knew it! <gasps> Rahalik, the gods, are they dead? How can this be? God of humans. God of lizards. God of elves. God of imps. The God of wizards. What? God of Dwarves. God of Orcs. Yes, I love Orcs. Oh, I can't get close enough to see his beautiful face. Is he... Are they handcuffed? Ah. It's as close as I can get. Interesting. I've only ever met... Well, actually, we've met all the races except for Orcs. Mages. Or wizards, I mean. What do I do? Do I talk to them? I want to talk to this guy. Before you hangs a great ethereal orc, his face twisted in a knot of pain as cursed tendrils contrict, contrict, constrict him. Uh -huh. Hey, wait, what's this? 
Spirit vision. This character can see spirits. <gasps> I see dead people. Haha, <laughs> old movie reference. Uh hmm. Rahalik hangs limp from the tree. Cursed branches constricting him, snake like from foot to shoulders. <gasps> his helmeted head hangs slack at his side, but a barely audible wheeze rasps from his lips. person you should ask to hurry. Narrator. Cursed branches weave into ropes around the goddess Amadia. Beneath them, her face is peaceful and still. So what, do I need to talk to all of them? Hello. Cursed tendrils tighten around Zoral Stiza. Her lips are moving, but no words seem able to escape her lips. Uh, tight coils wrap Tear Sendelus from head to foot. His head face is his still face is set to a glowing glowering sneer. Glowering sneer. Glowering sneer. Sneer. I can't read. Oh. A small stout imp winces under the countless cursed threads that bind her. And then lastly, ever tightening cursed branches constrict the great dwarven god Duna. Her eyelids flutter and his face. Oh, it's his. I said her. His face blushed and bloated nods. Um, oh, does he mean. But I want to... No? No, that's me. That's young man lazy bones that wants the orc freed first, but no. There you have to stick to character. Rahalik! Now what? Do I talk to him? Yeah. Rahalik, the god of humans. As the cursed branches slither away from Rahalik, he raises his head. Green eyes glint with sudden fire from behind his helmet. We are... We... Wait. Are we the first? The others? Do they hang still upon the tree? He strains at the ethereal ropes that bind him, resisting their grip. You must make haste. I am bound, but not defeated. Not yet. Ask what happened here. How did the seven come to such a fate? Ask him what you're meant to do. Ask if you can help him somehow. Curl your lips. I want to kiss. If he could be so easily subdued, he is no god of yours. I mean, so easily subdued. I mean, come on. But uh, what? Uh, what am I supposed to do? You are my chosen. Now you must become the champion of our kind. The champion of humanity. I have survived our enemy. You must do more than that. Tell him you've learned a great deal since last you met. You are ready. Nod. Ask him where to begin. Ask him to tell you more about this enemy. Tell him you didn't ask for any of this. You never wanted to be his chosen. Tell him you plan to do just that, but not as his chosen or his champion. Hmm. Hmm. Where to begin? Yeah, I need a little bit of more information. Where do I begin? You have already used the powers I unlocked in you, but there is a great well of possibilities still within, untapped. Until you have learned to control your, that power, you remain at risk. T 
tell him you won't fail him. Ask him who or what can teach you what you need to learn. Say you are growing stronger by the day indeed, but you do so for yourself, not for the cause of a dying god. Who or what can teach me? Look, and you will find the way. Power seeks power. As you seek it, it seeks you. The right path has already found you. Those with whom you travel can help you find what you must. But heed me. There will come a time when you must leave them behind. You alone must succeed. Every man, woman, and child of our glorious race depends upon it. Upon it. If you should hesitate, if you should fail, the void will take us all. Now go. He strains against his binds once more face curled into an angry sneer. I hear the void. I hear it calling. I hear it laughing. Go. No, I wanted to free them. No. Oh. I should have freed the friggin' orc, but no, no, I had to freaking stick to character. Alright, let's see what these guys want. Narrator, the same troubled look is visible on each face. You've seen the gods beaten and defiled, strung up as a warning. Wait a minute, in custom character, why couldn't I pick a orc? That would have been great. Red Prince, one shudders to contemplate the sheer power of whatever thing or creature could humiliate the seven gods and leave them to perish. The gods are dead. Long live the Codwoken. If the seven should indeed come to nothing, I'll be ready to take their place. I think he would say that. I mean, he thinks he's some conquering super god leader of the lizard people, so I'm sure he would he would say this. Screw the seven gods. I will take their place. Sybil. Seems divinity is but a noose around a god's neck. And as I stood and watched, I could feel a noose tightening around my own. What can yet be blessed can yet be restored. One way or another, divinity will survive through all of you and all of me. Hmm. hmm. This sounds way too chipper to be Sybil. She's on the dark side, I would think. And, uh, I think she'd say this. Divinity is but a noose around a god's neck. And I feel it tightening around my own as well. Loosh. Rahalik should be my god too. But he doesn't speak to me. Even a desperate god doesn't see me as his champion. Well, there was a god of the wizards. I mean, and you are a wizard, lady. Gods. Schmods? Schmods? God schmods. They aren't interested in my, and I'm not interested in them. I think they meant me. It seems whatever's inside me is more powerful than any of them anyway, or at least more cunning. Hmm. This was tough until I read Schmods, and she's always with the weird little funny words. I guess everybody's against the gods. Oh, man. Oh, I really don't know what she'd say. She's always kidding in with some of her words. So I guess schmutz? God schmutz. What 
kind of power is needed to humble the gods themselves. This is starting to feel like a suicide mission. The void must draw its power from somewhere, and if it can gain it, and if it can gain it, then it can lose it. We might still stand a chance if we try. The void must draw its power from somewhere. If it can gain it, it can lose it. Huh. Oh, I still have spirit vision. All oh, the bods aren't here. I thought that with the fight over, the bods might still be here, but I guess not. I don't see anything. Oh, I heard a noise. I wonder if we can shoot these things. Oh, we're in here. <laughs> yes. I think we're supposed to talk to this guy. Oh, we can also... I think we can also go down. Whoa! What was that? We just kind of teleported really quickly. Let's talk to this thing. Hello! The Lady Vengeance. Ah, oh, what voice was I using? Um... This place is strange. I cannot carry you through these waters. You must find other means so that we can leave. Hmm. Good to know. Very helpful, my friend Lady Vengeance. Lady Vengeance. Maybe I should have a more lady voice. For the dragon ship. What if I could steer it? I'd never clicked on this last time. I want to see if I can. Whoa! You're generating. We sail to new sh for new shores. I just need to give Melody something, something. My lady. Why is he walking so slow? There you go, buddy. My lady. Um, yeah, this is the two silent monks, journal updated. I really need to read those journals. I keep forgetting about that. Where the heck are they? Maybe they'll appear as I walk around. Nope. Okay, they're not in there. Let's, where's that way down? It's right there. Hey, wait a minute, where's... What's his name? I've been missed. Oh. Oh! <gasps> no! No! Is he dead? I've been missed? I've spirit stares at you, seemingly through you. There's neither affection nor blame in his expression. Oh no. Wave your hand in front of his eyes. Call out his name. Leave his spirit in peace. Uh, I'm gonna wave my hand in front of his face. He gives no sign of seeing you. Ifen's eyes flicker rapidly from side to side as if trying to take in an expansive sight. He whispers. Oh boy. Glachow Dumar. Glachow Dumar. Over and over, and suddenly you seem to hear the chattering of thousands of elven voices in the distance. Uh oh. Then, before your eyes, his spirit dissolves into the sound, his own voice joining the cacophony that you can hear that you could hear for now no sound remains all is calm no no i think that was i've been missed with too many times i guess he's been missed with too many times now 
because he's dead. Oh, what was that? Loose plank. Oh, baby. Ooh. Thunderbolt grenade. I'll take all of them. Oh, wait a minute. All my group is back together. I just realized that it was... Didn't even think about uh, their inventory. Err. I guess this is useless now? No one in my party is a huntsman? Man. Is he really dead? That would be... Sucky. I need to give somebody some scrolls because... Old Man Lazy Bones has all the things. I guess I could split this one up. I feel like we're going to have a battle soon, so I'm uh, making sure that we're prepared for said battle. Mm, let's see. Terror grenade. Oh, what am I doing? Give that to Sybil. And... Uh, da, da, da. I guess I'll give this to... Red Beats. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, everyone good on their potions. Make sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone's good. Oh, actually. No. Intelligence should be given to Loesh. Help out her damage. Water resistance. Water resistance. Wits. Everyone else has potions. I think... Uh, physical armor. And then lastly, he's got the strength, right? Yeah, perfect. Right. Now that that has been dealt with, we still need to find... Oh, there they are. Wait. They're still here. Constance! Constance, where are you? Oh, it's not Constance. It's Melector. Oh, and the kid. Hans. Who the heck's Tarquin? Oh, he's the guy, my market guy. Um. Murder. Godwoken. We narrator. Oh, I need to fix this. We need to go. Are you ready? Say you are. Tell her to wait. We have some questions. Ask her what's going on. Where are you? Are we? Mm. What the hell is going on? Where are we? There's no time. I can tell you. I, I can hold us. Yeah. Can't. Uh, Brace yourself. This might hurt. A lot. XP? <gasps> We're back! Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh, this land looks huge. It's gonna be fun. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, I forgot. I guess... Ah... Oh. I did remember reading. <laughs> no, that the early access only has an act one. <laughs> well, yep, I guess we're gonna have to wait till the full release to see what happens later on in the game. Oh man, I can't believe it. Oh no, wait a minute, does that mean that I lose my progress? <gasps> Will I have to start over? I hope not. No. <laughs> but hey! Release, uh, I think it's September 14th, so I guess the series will return then. Oh man, this sucks! Uh, but hey, if you've been watching, thank you so very effing much. You've been great. I like you guys. And gals. You're the best. But it looks like this is it. Unless my game crashed or something and took me to the screen. 
the welcome screen. But, uh, yeah. That's it! Thank you for watching Divinity Original Sin 2 Early Access Game. I am Lazy Bones, and, um, yeah, like I said, we'll return. Oh, what did I just do? I just clicked the button. Oh. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have many good ones. And I will see you when uh, the game is released. We'll have an episode out probably the day of or the day after its release. Full launch, or whatever they call it. But that's it. Bye bye. See you next time. Season 2.